When I wrote my first Hello World program, this is the code that I used. I've actually kept it deliberately simple here. Often you'll see even a very simple Hello World program has a bit more code than I've written. And for an example of that, I've gone to Code Light and I'm going to add a new project. So I'll select Create New Project. And Code Light auto generates its own version of the main function and it adds in some sample code, which happens to be Hello World. Let me move this alongside my version of Hello World. So you can see them alongside one another. Mine is on the left. The code that's auto-generated by CodeLight is on the right. Now, they start the same. They begin with the hash include to get the contents of stdio.h, which provides the printf function. Then there's the declaration of main, but look, the version generated by CodeLight is preceded by int. That shows it returns an integer value when it's finished running. And there's a return at the end which shows that it returns zero. And there are also some extra arguments. So my argument list, that is, between the parentheses after main, is empty. There's nothing there. But in the version generated by CodeLight, there are two arguments. int argc comma, that ends the first argument, then char, star, star, arg, v. What does all that mean? Let me start with this return value. In C, each function may return some type of data. If it returns some data, then you should precede the function name, the function name here is main, with the type of data it's expected to return. Here it's an int, an integer. This being the main function, returns that value after the program exits, when it's finished running. Now, most of the time, you won't need to examine that value, but in principle, some program or utility that calls this, that runs this C program, could examine that return value. A value of zero returned just means that everything is okay. If some other value is returned, and you could return that value explicitly in your own code, then it indicates normally that some sort of error has happened, and the return value might indicate the type of error. But for now, you don't need to know exactly how to use that. You just need to be aware that this is commonly how the main function is declared. The two arguments are a bit more complicated. The first argument, argc, again, is an integer type, and you can see that because it's preceded by int. This is the count of arguments, that's bits of data, that have been sent to this program. And I'll explain that in the next video. The next argument, argv, is preceded by these two asterisks, or stars, plus the char declaration. And what this means is that argv is actually referring to an array of character strings. Actually, it's a bit more complicated than that, but I want to defer discussing exactly what this means until later in the course. For now, just bear in mind that when you see char star star arg v, or alternatively, it might be char star arg v and a pair of square brackets, that means that this is an array, that is, a sequential list of strings, strings of characters. And now for more information, watch the next video.